hi guys this is the tutorial for today you can see it on my client's body it's so fitted look at our back we have a snatched back everything is perfect the neckline is perfect if this video interests you kindly stay to the end welcome back guys to the sewing part of our last tutorial on a princess bustier with a keyhole neckline um if you've not watched the drafting parts i will drop the link for you in the comment section for you to watch then you can come back to this now i've gone ahead to cut it on the lining and on the actual fabric i gum stay on the actual fabric then i use paper gum on the lining In order for us to form our cup, the center front from the underbust to the chest line, I cut out that shape for paper gum and I gum it on it. I did that also to the, you know, to the cup parts. For the actual fabric, I did not do that on the actual fabric. I don't do that on my main fabric. You're going to take your fabric you place it like that and you're going to sew it all the way to the top with half inch because i added half inch to half inch allowance to it for sewing then you will also repeat the same thing for the lining piece then for the back guys i notch the back dart so you are going to pick the dart that way you sew to the length of where the dart gets top at you sew with half inch you do the same thing for the lining so let's go and sew after sewing it this is what it is this is how it is looking like now this is the inside can you see i sew with half inch the next thing is for you to notch from the underbust. You notch from the underbust all the way to the top so that when you iron it, it can give you a neat, you know, easy access for you to iron. You're also going to iron the back. That is the back also. I've sewed it and I'm also showing you how it is. Now you take your breast ham. That is what you use to iron your your breast cup you open all the seam and you're going to iron you do that for the lining piece so let's go and iron then i'll come back and show you guys after ironing guys this is what it is i've ironed it and i also cut out a piece of paper gum just to close the just to cover the seam so it is looking all smooth than the initial one then this is the actual fabric i also cut out st and i use it to cover the seam from the underbust to the top part the next thing is for us to do is to turn the neckline you're going to place the lining on the actual fabric and you turn the neckline you do the same thing for the back piece you're going to turn the neckline with half inch sewing allowance after doing that guys this is how it is i turn the neckline and i also top stitch it i did the same thing for the back now you, you open it right side facing right side I are going to sew the sides with 0.25 yeah we sew the side with 0.25 or half inch then you also turn the back you are going to sew the zip side with 0.25 then sew the side seam also with 0.25 do that for the second back now guys i went ahead to sew and i also iron it this is how it is i did that for the front piece also 
then I run a stitch just to secure both lining and actual piece together. Then the next thing is for us to turn the shoulder. Now you're going to place the back on the front and you open it that way right side to right side. You open the front also making sure the center joining matches with each other. I are going to sew it with half inch. You do that for the second one. Guys, after sewing the shoulder, this is how it is. Then you open all the seams and you fold it that way. So that that place can lay flat. You do that for the second shoulder. You open the seam and you are going to open it. So this is how the shoulder is looking like now we are going to be forming our keyhole now the reason why we are doing this part of keyhole is because we turn the neckline with lining you are going to take a strap you fold it into two and you cut it into two just watch what I do I'm putting it off. Yeah, this is what I need. Now I'm going to place a paper gum on it. And I'm cutting the exact length that I want. Then I went ahead to take hemi gum. And I place hemi gum on it so that I can gum the other piece on top now you take the second piece make sure the right side is facing up you place it on it and you iron after ironing guys this is how it is i folded it into two and i iron it so that i can get the crease line then the next thing is um i mark one inch from the upper parts and I mark two inches downward. I also mark one inch downward. I want it to be one, one inch apart from the two, two inches from the middle. So on the two inches, I mark the middle point. That is one inch. I'm cutting off the excess, yes, at the upper parts because I needed just one, one inch before the two inches i hope you understand then at the yes, at the two inches the middle is one inch yeah i'm going to go out by another one inch again because we are forming a round cup a round curve rather so you're going to connect it like that yes now because i want the down to be a little bit longer than the upper parts i went down by 0 0.25 then i just connect it together that way so i'll open it up then repeat the same thing i did on the other parts one inch yeah then i'm going to connect the the round curve to it okay guys now that we are done doing that I also mark one inch on that part and I will cut it off like I said I want one inch on all the sides apart from the round curve so you take your your material your, and you make sure you get the center if possible you can iron the center for you to have the line then I mark one inch downward then you take your piece and you are going to place it on the one inch making sure the center matches with the center of your curve then i pin it down i went ahead to use my 
pins to pin all the sides down i also make sure the center of the casing matches with the center of the fabric at the down part there because everything have to align properly i used pin to pin all the four side then after pinning we are going to be sewing the round yeah the curve you sew it round guys this is it i've gone ahead to sew it and i remove the pins now you are going to fold it into two you can see the inside sewing you fold it into two and you take your scissors and you cut you cut it together with the with the material you sew on i hope you understand just watch the video so you can you know understand then you cut it all around very close to the seam do not cut it through be very careful cut very close to your seam next thing for you to do is to notch them notch all the points so that it can be easy for you to turn then turn it inside when you turn it inside it is giving you something like this then i went ahead to just reduce all the sides it is looking bigger than what i want after that guys we are going to iron it properly now before you iron it guys this is what i normally do for curves that i cannot top stitch you're going to sew all the curves round with your needle and thread you sew it round make sure the the lining doesn't show at the front of your curve so you use your hand and push it inside then you sew after sewing guys then you now iron it when you iron it it will stay very well there's no how the line the inside will be showing on the outer parts then you cannot lose all your stitch together this is what i do for places that i cannot stop stitch then you will now weave that part it is optional though if you don't want to weave it you can leave it like that after weaving this is how it is it is looking very fine then the next thing is for us to shape our upper part so you place your tape on the middle of your cup and you put your measurement that's your round bust divided by four this client around bus is 34 divided by four is it enough i did that for the waist as well then you now connect the lines that becomes the seam allowance you use to sew it i hope you understand that is the easiest way for you to sew your bustier then for the zip allowance the zip allowance was one inch but because i sew the inside with 0 0.25 i have 0 0.75 left then that is what i mark Then I will also sew the zip allowance as well. Guys, after sewing all the same, this is how it is. I sew the zip allowance, I iron it and I lose it back. So that I can have my crease line. The next thing I did is to take my skirt parts. You all know how to do this. You know how to sew your skirt so i sew the skirt and i lose it from the zip allowance now i'll be attaching the upper part to the down part i went ahead to notch the middle 
and I also notch the middle of the skirt. Yes, then you place it on each other and you're going to sew it with half inch to the other side. After sewing guys, this is how it is. Then I also fix the zip. This is what it is. It is looking all neat and you know beautiful. The next thing is to fix my sleeve. The reason why I did not show the sleeve part because the main focus for today is the bustier with keyhole. And I'm sure all of you know how to, you know, sew a puffy sleeve. Guys, then for you to secure your keyhole to the material for it not to show, just take needle and thread and you're going to sew. So you sew it with the lining. When you are sewing, make, make sure the thread doesn't show outside. Just pick the lining and the keyhole um, allowance here. Yeah? Then you just sew together. Guys, this is how it is. Now my sewing is not showing outside. We are done with this tutorial, guys. If you find this tutorial helpful, kindly give me a like. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.